Hello and welcome back to Andy Plays DGV and we're going to play our next round of the Pro Tour, round two of this week's Pro Tour. We've got seven under on round one, so let's see how we do on round two. Let's jump in. First hole here. Uh, we're going to take Rudolph. Mm. Not tough wind here. Uh, aim down here into this corner after sliding over to the right and I'm going to put a lot of Van Heiser on this try and fight the wind oh dear no clipped the clipped the exit of the tunnel where are we going to end up okay well we're in bounds which is the good thing and so our next shot We'll try and stay clear of the water, so we'll put quite a bit of hyzer on it. There we go. Ooh. Caught up in the train tracks there. It's going to be tough to get um, birdie from here. <coughs> Doable though. Okay, let's aim down a bit along the train tracks. A half a disc's worth of hyzer. The wind will push it into the wall. Hopefully we'll get a skip off the wall. We do. And now we've got a testing long putt for the birdie. Let's aim to the right of the basket. 33 meters and a three wind. Uh, so something like that, I think. Get in. Oh! Just a little short. It's going to have to take a par on this first hole. Not a great start. Hole two. Alrighty. Helpful wind here. Kind of. So we'll take our ballista glide water skip. Put the middle chevron just where the, the ledge meets the tree there. And then just a, a little bit of Anheuser to fight against the wind. Wait for the cameraman to come back to the right a little bit. If it will, there we go. Oh, I've turned that way too much. But we made it through. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I went in the water on this hole. If ever. Wow, that was unlucky. So we'll take our claymore, set the basket, and then probably won't be enough to make it, but we'll still be able to putt for a bogey. Mm, not a great start. Okay, uh, this hole has been causing me all sorts of issues recently. Uh, we'll take the sapphire roll, aim over here a bit more. The wind is helpful here though, we should, hopefully shouldn't put, push it into the water. So we're going to put like a disc's worth of Anheuser in, just not quite full power. Hold back a little bit so that we make it round the corner and that is exactly where I want to be. 26 meter putt, aim to the right of the basket again. Be a little bit less. There we go. It's gonna lift as well. Yes, and we get the birdie. So back to even par. Next hole. Okay, tough wind here. Let's slide to the right. Uh, take the sapphire accurate big skip, I think. Uh, put the middle chevron near this tree, about half a disc's worth of pizza. It should come back, jump over the wall. And need this nice and close to the basket. So we can get birdie. So we're back on the birdie train, which is good. Okay, pass three. First hole. Uh, change to backhand. And we'll take the ballista water skip 
glide again. Uh, no wind, which is nice. Or we put like half a disc's worth of pyzer. That should go. Oh, that's not turning at all. Ooh. Oh, that was not a good shot. Okay. Downhill, 25 meters. Okay. Aim down a little bit. And that amount of power. Get it to come back. There we go. Yes. So after a, a bit of a wayward drive, we still get the birdie, which is good. Par four. Okay. And this wind, I think I'm just going to aim straight down the middle. And most of the discs worth of hyzer. Oh, this could go OB, I think. Should have put more hyzer on it. No, I think we'll be safe. No, we're safe. We're safe. Now oh, the OB line's up on the top of the ridge, luckily. Got a long, long shot into a headwind here. Normally, I just throw a sapphire. Um, but in this, I think I'm actually going to throw a ballista. And I'm going to change to forehand. And... Put it on a bit of hyzer. Actually, like half a disc's worth of hyzer. That should start coming back. Which it does. Nice. Nice. And we've got a pup. So we get birdie again. Nice. Okay. Last three holes. Couple backwards. I mean, Cahill Park. Ah, this has been another hole that's caused me issues recently. I used to throw the Saint Pro on this hole, but I don't bag that anymore. Um, I think I'm going to throw the Sapphire Roll. I'm stuck between the Sapphire Roll and the and the Warship here. Um, about half a disc's worth of hyzer through this gap here. That's gone wandering. Yeah, that's too long. Maybe the warship would be better to throw there. I've not, I've not played this hole for a while. It's not been on. It's not come up on multiplayer for a while. Um, so yeah, twenty-five meters. What's the wind doing? Nothing. Okay. So something like that. Yep. Nice, okay. Last two are par threes. This is hole one, I believe. And we take the ballista glide water skip again. Wind is in our favor. Aim kind of over here. And then a straight pull back. And hopefully we won't get obstructed by bushes. That Seems okay, and we are, we're fine, and we've got a putt, nice. So another birdie. Let's see if we can birdie the last hole. Okay. Kind of a helpful wind here for the shot that I throw. I, sh I throw a sapphire accurate big skip on this shot, and the wind should help push the skip closer to the basket. It normally ends up, you know, a little bit short, but that's fine. I prefer to be short on this hole. Um, so I'm going to aim just to the right right side of the Mando here. And uh, I think just a straight pull back. Let the wind push it through the Mando. A nice skip, which will take us right up to the basket. Perfect. Aim up just a tad. And in for our final birdie. So after a really... Uh, not very good start. We made a very good recovery and birdied out the rest of it. A round rating of 925, not too bad. And six under for the round. There we go. 
All right, so the, the leader is MM93, who I think his name is Mark. Um, and he's got a 1200, a 900, and 11 under. Fair play. All right, they're good scores. Uh, so the round two, hot round seems to be 10 under. Okay, well, join me again tomorrow where we'll play round three. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.